Hello all, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, today is gonna be a very simple video on a uh, part assembly of a 79 Corvette steering wheel. Uh, if you guys wanna watch a full disassembly and assembly video, feel free to click right over here uh, to watch a full video on the installation for this. On this particular case, what happened is I was feeling very, very uh, artsy and I decided to wrap the, the horn cover in you know, a shiny black color. I thought it would look very nice. And when I was pressuring it in or when I was putting it in the, in the system, this one right here, um, I ended up breaking a lot of it. And I'm assuming the reason why is because these are 43 year old buttons or screws, plastic screws. And uh, yeah, they, they tend to crack after a while. So two of them cracked, which left the car in a horned mode. So it was honking till, you know, till I had to disassemble it. I couldn't just not do it. So for those reasons, I decided to just go ahead and new one. I bought a new one from eBay and uh, cost me about 20 bucks. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much the same. It's got plastic buttons, but these are uh, stuck to it. Actually, these have no threads or anything on them. So they're like pressured and then uh, they're just permanent. You can't remove them or anything. So don't know how that's gonna work out, but it seems really, really good. It seems very sturdy. And you know, compared to this one, they look exactly the same. So they still have the same pin, same distance uh, between pins, the travel distance between the pins uh, to touch that one pin that's all the way in the bottom so yeah good news for us so it's a fairly easy job uh, i left this pre-installed uh, so i could you know not lose them but essentially you're gonna go ahead and remove them there you go and what you have to do is you have to align these three screws screw holes to the holes to the main uh, column so you can, there's no way around it. There's no mistake. It just has to be that way. So essentially like this. But what we're going to do is we're gonna have we're gonna get our three little plates that come with it. We're gonna align them to this, right? So essentially we're gonna try to align it like this, and then we're gonna put the screws in them to kind of keep it uh, the same way. And I like to do it this way because it just makes it easier when you're installing it. That way you don't have to juggle these things around and uh, it's just an easier way to do it. So then we're going to go ahead and put them into the brackets. There you go. And then we're going to kind of just screw it in. So once you've installed it, before you put your cap on, you wanna make sure that the horn actually works. These, these are your made three contacts. You just wanna press them. And that shows you that it works perfectly. Then after that, you're gonna grab your cap and hopefully I don't break this again, <laughs> but you're gonna pretty much just align it. And that's it. And then you're pretty much done. There we go. So now we've installed the cap. We don't have to worry about this one anymore. And uh, we're pretty much set to go. Essentially what it is, is this screws have a, almost like a little gasket in between. And what they do is they create almost like a, a, a 
a connection between metals, right? Um, so that's what causes the hunk to work. So when those metals are broken, or when, I'm sorry, when those screws are broken and there's suddenly no pressure and there's no distance travel between them, which either leaves it in a way where it doesn't hunk anymore or in a permanent honking position. Uh, so that's essentially what happened with me. Uh, but now that I got everything on, we're good to go. Everything's safe and we can use our honk now. On a quick note, I don't like getting rid of these parts because I feel like I may be able to use them in the future. So this is just gonna go into the Corvette cemetery. 